Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on Life. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. Thanksgiving. Everybody gets together, and you're supposed to be thankful. Of course, thankful to God, to the Almighty, the Creator of the world, for all you've got. But how many times do I encounter people who tell me, Rabbi, I don't really have much to be thankful for. Do I need to still be thankful? What do I celebrate? Well, let me give you some perspective. In the Talmud, there's a very interesting discussion which explains the very last verse in the book of Psalms. The very last verse, which you can say is like the final touch on the entire book of Psalms. That is kind of the finishing touch. Kol haneshama tahalel ka haleluka, which literally translates every soul, every neshama, neshama means a soul, will praise God, praise this God. Now, why does it say every soul? Why not every living thing? In the prior chapters, it speaks about the, all the living things in the world, all the creatures in the world, praising God. Well, the Talmud tells us that Rabbi Levi, in the name of Rabbi Hanina, said the following. The word nishama, which like I said means soul, could also be read nishima, which means breath. And thus you can read this verse to read every single breath you need to praise God. And he says that for every single breath, really, we need to praise God and thank him for it. Now, I know you're thinking, really, is that a big deal? Well, here's my suggestion. If you want to really become appreciative and learn to thank God, even for that basic thing of the ability to breathe, try to hold your breath for one minute, actually 30 seconds, and see how important breath is. So. This is telling us, as long as you're alive, yes, you have a lot to be thankful for. Especially, look around. Those things that we take for granted, we just expect them. They're a given. And therefore, we take it for granted. It just happens all the time that we don't even associate them with being something unique, something special, an important gift from God. We just expect it. Thanksgiving. Look around. Be thankful. Be thankful for everything you have. You're alive. You're here. You're going to sit with family and friends. You have family and friends. Even if you're going to be, God forbid, sitting alone. You have food in front of you. You have a roof over your head. Of course we all want more. But start by being thankful for what you already have. Perhaps that will be the key to getting more, to receiving more. You know? Of course, God is not a human being. He doesn't have the weaknesses of a human being, certainly. We need to be encouraged. We need to be thanked. We need to be given the accolades. But in a certain sense, God subjects himself, so to speak, to the ways of man. And yes, when you encourage somebody, when you say thank you, when you show gratitude and appreciation, guess what happens? The giver is now more encouraged. The giver is now more enthusiastic, motivated to give you more. So start being thankful for those, quote, ordinary things that we take for granted.